What's going on Virgos? Welcome to the channel. This is going to be a weekly tarot reading April 30th to May 6th and the first card that shows up the topic of your week we do have the Ace of Pentacles for you guys. The second card shows up the core of the situation and this is going to be the Page of Cups. Third card represents the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the Four of Swords. And the last one is the guidance that you uh, that you should follow or kind of like the guidance of the Tarot card. We do have the Five of Cups. So uh, I will start with the guidance here and the guidance is cut your losses and move on from there. This is basically what the guidance it is telling you guys. Uh, it is all about that I can say uh, about this card and it is very important not to allow a a negative current events to diverse you from your goal moving on forward because for what it seems this is going to to be a week for establishment and a week of a preparation why because we do have the core of the situation and especially talking about career wise this the page of cups this represents change looming okay so the change is not gonna <clears throat> be uh, executed to a that particular week but it is a, a change looming as i said and you have to start making preparations for it so the ace of pentacles first of all points to success into one business into one career and in order to be prepared for the change which is coming guys you have to capitalize on those successes and how you can capitalize on them well instead of sitting upon them and uh, consuming them you know as the uh, four of swords it is showing try to invest them into the change that it is looming and I actually you'll be quite aware that uh, what kind of a change that is going to be guys and this is going to be as well uh, weak instead um, apart from being successful into one uh, career and business also is going to be a week where you will have the opportunity to reassess your positions so it is likely that you will start finding out that you can achieve more that you can be better you know <clears throat> that you can obtain new skills and new knowledge so you can be more lucrative into the future so it's all about Virgo right now as I said you had that week to plan for the bigger future and even if people were uh, are telling you that you are the less of what you think you are don't believe them guys we do have as i said the, the five of cups just cut your losses with those people and do not allow them to diverse you from your goal and from the path that you have consciously taken even though you you may lose some friends you know or some uh, people for you from your surroundings here this is a, a loss without losing your self-respect so in other words it's a loss you are willingly to give and to pay so you can maintain that positive outlook for your future very important here to be said as well is that you will start uh, being more prone to the bigger picture than the minor details which is fantastic talking about relationships guys because you will not allow the small things to really aggravate and irritate you in the sense of that um, a, a shenanigans which your partner does you know or the person of interest that you do you will be more prone of what will come out of it from when you are for example in a relationship or one relationship in a long term and instead of uh, being picky with their behavior all right you will try to uh, maximize the harmony that is happening in between you and your partner or in between you and your person of interest but it is very important here not to dive and drone into discovering what kind of an emotions you do have for them okay because you are very aware what you what you feel it is just if you think you aren't then you are trying to fool yourself in a certain way and that being said guys uh, it is very important here to step in, in into one relationship or into one communications and seriously display what kind of position you are taking you know and what kind of position you want to take for the future for example you are dating with somebody or you are uh, <clears throat> their uh, partner in love relationship but you don't but you don't like that position anymore you want to be a husband or a wife so start talking about it and as I said this is a, a change looming it is not a change that is going to happen this week but it is very important to start preparing for it okay and even if you are <clears throat> even if you are not facing as I said the respond you are um, you are expecting do not deviate from the path that you have taken in other words do not drop off that idea from the plate in case this is your idea of getting married you know I'm just giving you an 
on an example here but all in all this week it is showing a, a very big progress in the sense of cap in a sense of stabilizing and establishing a certain as i said position or positions or um kind of like um reassess reassessing one's positions and taking such which are really suiting one for the best as well the the uh the week shows one last thing i want to say the week shows is that you are going to be emotionally connected into something which is going to make you feel very uh fulfilled and uh as well um <clears throat> how can i place it i, I want to say happy but it is more like um carefree okay the, the the state is more carefree than happy and if uh, carefree it's what make you happy then you are gonna be such it is just as i said do not um <clears throat> plummet into a, an emotional um emotional whirlwind if I may say that way, but instead be very aware of what you feel within so you can achieve that emotional connection. So that being said, Virgo, this was uh, your tarot reading, guys, for the upcoming week. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.